pigment mixing kit gives the nail technician the ability to easily custom blend powder or gel to produce individual color combinations and endless artistic looks. The kit reduces the need for the nail technician to buy and use multiple variants of colored powder or gel. All you need to do is mix pigment concentrates with clear or white acrylic powder or gel, and if desired, other secondary colors to make your own unique colors. Pigment Mixing Kit Demonstration In an empty container, mix equal parts blue pigment with equal parts of clear acrylic powder. In this demonstration, we are mixing five parts blue pigment to five parts clear acrylic. Stir the mix with the included mixing spoon or put the cover on the container and give it a thorough shake. Now you've made your own color acrylic powder. For this demonstration, we are sculpting with gold and black forms. Be sure and follow the steps in sanitation and prep before proceeding to application. Apply the nail form to your nail and primer. Sculpt your free edge using the blue color acrylic mixture from the pigment mixing kit. Work very thin. Do not worry about perfecting your smile line. It will be hidden by your artwork. Using a premix of glitter additive and clear acrylic, apply your next ball over the blue free edge and begin your fade up the nail. Remember to work thin. This is a visual effect and not part of the nail structure. Apply a second ball of the glitter mixture to the center of the nail. Blend it down over the free edge and blend it up to the bed to complete your glitter fade. Apply a ball of clear acrylic to the nail starting at the cuticle all the way down to the free edge to cap your nail, giving it strength and structure. It is okay to do this with more than one ball if necessary. Your last ball of clear is your arch location ball. This will prevent your nail from looking flat and should only be added to the nail if necessary. Remember to look at your nail from all sides as you work. Finish filing your nail to either a high shine or apply a coat of capping sealer. For filing instructions, you may go to the chapters on finish filing. Now that your nail is finished and smooth, you can add your 3D acrylic work. For a more advanced leaf, you can triple dip your ball, giving it three color effect. We are using a premixed green, premixed blue, and your white acrylic for a basic leaf. Simply premix a green and add some blue. Do not stir it thoroughly. This will give you flecks of blue in your leaf. Apply a small medium to wet ball of the leaf color. Gently pat it into a shiny wet ball. Now drag the tip of your brush through the ball to get your basic leaf shape. Wipe any excess acrylic off your brush. Now using the tip of your brush, press out the sides to give your leaf lines. This will also perfect its general shape. 
You must work quickly so the ball does not firm up while you are working. Now for your flower. For the petals, we are using a pre-mixed yellow, double dipped with your white acrylic. While building your flower, imagine your nail is the face of a clock. The first petal will be placed at 12. After placing your first ball, gently pat it into a nice round wet shape. Give it a moment to self-level and pull into a nice wet ball. To shape your petal, place the point of your brush at the location of the center of your flower. Then gently apply pressure outwards. This will press your petal open. Change the angle as you press. Be sure to keep your next balls the same size to keep all your petals the same size. Repeat the process to create your remaining petals. Place your second ball at 2 o'clock. Place your third ball at 10 o'clock. Place your fourth ball at 5. Place your fifth ball at 7. To finish your flower, give it decorative metal. A small ball of white acrylic is perfect for this. Place your ball and get it into a nice round shape. Then using the tip of your brush, insert it into the center of the ball and begin to draw tiny circles. This will open up the middle of the ball. Poke the outer edge to take away the perfect circle shape and give it a more natural appearance. Do not clear coat your flower. It will only take away the realistic appearance. To keep it clean and perfect for weeks to come, simply scrub it with soap and water using a nail brush. You do not need to worry about ruining it. Once it is all cured, it will not come off.